What's up, everyone? It's Rob, the Wall Street Custodian, coming back with a video about my favorite company. I talk about it all the time. Those of you who know, it's ILS. This is my favorite penny stock by far, and they just dropped some big news um, that is going to help them move towards the NASDAQ, in my opinion. This is big news because one of the main things that people say, the naysayers of ILS, what they say is, well, nothing's validated. The, they're lying to everybody. I don't buy that for a second, number one. I don't think a company, and especially uh, the owner, CEO, who stays in such contact with his shareholders on such a regular basis is pulling the wool over their eyes. And you know what? This, ne this move that they just made is the next step to ending those criticisms, right? I said there's there's things would have to happen. I made a video a while back. NASDAQ hits, uh, excuse me, Eyeless hits $2 when these things happen. Well, this is in that stage this is the next stage of what needs to happen for this thing to get to the nasdaq reach two dollars like we all want and beyond this is the next stage in that so before we get started hit that subscribe button definitely hit it if you love eyeless i love this company i am on this eyeless hill i'll ride this i would ride this company to a penny and continue to buy it <laughs> but i'm gonna I, I am confident that this is gonna grow into a conglomerate you see i missed a chance to get in paypal when it was pennies and other stocks to ride them up big i think eyeless is gonna be a conglomerate with spin-off companies that is gonna make these us early shareholders when this company is pennies I think we're going to really reap the rewards in the next 10 years. Now, I know it's a long time to look out, 10 years, let alone 20. But I'm looking to my retirement now. And this is one of my main companies that I'm focused on that I think is going to bring me to a happy retirement and maybe even retire early. All right, guys. That being said, nothing here is financial advice, though. These are just my opinions. Do your own due diligence, okay? Always contact the financial advisor and let's get into this, all right? So... They just announced that they have confirmed appointments of auditors. Oh, what's the big deal? Well, that is a big deal because bringing auditors in will validate their company. Let's read what they had to say. So ILS has recently appointed AJSH and company as its auditors. According to AJSH, has recently begun the audit of ILS, expecting to complete it by the summer, so that's pretty soon, summer of 22. After completing the audit, ILIS will file its Form 10 with the SEC to become a fully reporting entity. That's very important, guys, for the plans of ILIS in the future. This is huge, actually. This is monstrous news that should not be taken lightly. It will also change its registered name from Illustrato Pictures to ILIS International, which I'm very happy they're getting rid of the Illustrato Pictures. It's just ILIS International. And apply with the OTC markets to uplist from OTC pink current to OTC QB. Now, for those who are curious, what is the OTC QB? Let's head over to Investopedia and just do a basic explanation. So the OTC QB, also called, quote, the venture market, is a middle tier of the over-the-counter, I've said that before, OTC means over-the-counter market for U.S. stocks. It was created in 2010 and consists mainly of early stage and developing U.S. and international companies that are not yet able to qualify for the OTC QX, but are not as speculative as the lower tier pink sheets. The OTCQB replaced the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, FINRA, operated OTC Bulletin Board. So the OTCQB replaced the OTCBB as the main market for OTC trading securities that report to a U.S. regular. So that's the key, that report to regulars. So that's regulators. That's what we need. We need to get this reporting it's going to add once this starts reporting to regulators you're going to see new investors have faith that they can come into the company as it is no minimum financial standards the otcqb often includes shell companies penny stocks and small foreign issuers the key takeaways and i'll get back to what isla said is that the otcqb is a mid-tier otc equity market which lists primarily early stage and developing companies the otcqb companies must meet certain minimum, requ minimum requiring standards, pass a bid test, and undergo annual verification, all right? And the other OTC tiers are, high, uh, are the highest quality OTCQX and the most speculative pink sheets. So you got, two, so you got three tiers, basically. Highly speculative pink sheets, where ILIS is right now, OTCQB the next stage up, and then OTCQX. So we're moving up, guys. That's the important thing here. This is big news for ILIS. 
really, really, really big news, actually. It's bigger than any, I, I think. This is, this is the most important thing we've heard, yes, especially to quell some naysayers and get some new investment capital coming in. So, the auditors AJSH is an independent firm of chartered accountants and business advisors in New Delhi, India. AJSH is registered with the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board in the United States and is also ISO certified. With over 14 years of experience, AJSH renders a wide array of professional services globally, including accounting and bookkeeping, audit and assurance, tax and regulatory, business consulting, and corporate law advisory. In addition, AJSH has been rendering its assurance services to many other publicly listed OTC markets and NASDAQ companies in the U.S., Eilish chose AJSH as its auditor due to its capabilities, capacity, and knowledge of operations between Middle East Europe and the United States, which is where Eilish is doing a lot of business, right? most of its business, whilst being in a convenient time zone. AJSH is registered with the PCAOB, U.S. as well as the Canadian Public Accounting Board in Canada. It's also a member of the International Accounting Group, which is a worldwide alliance of independent accounting firms. AJSH has an extensive has extensive growth plans for supporting US based companies and already holds extensive operations in the EMEA region. ILIS is confident that it will bring its filings earlier than previously stated timeline of twenty three of April. Wow, so that's that's great. The audit of ILIS International is running in parallel. So this is key here. It's running the, the audit of ILIS is running in parallel to ILIS's plans for ERT. That's the spinoff company they want to do that has a bunch of their companies in one, the Emergency Rescue Technologies, and its other subsidiaries, which ILIS has previously made its shareholders aware of. ILIS confirms that uplisting to the OTCQB does not detract from any plans it has for its subsidiaries, which are conti- which are continuing simultaneously. In closing here, Nick said, the CEO, Nick Link, the progress we have made with our plans for ERT and other ILA subsidiaries, and guys, these are going to be big spinoffs in my opinion. This is, this is exciting with this company. Just love this. We're As investors in this company, I'm just so pumped. Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> the progress we've made with our plans for ERT and other ILA subsidiaries this year has been excellent. Now in parallel, the parent company itself has the opportunity to uplist to the OTCQB. This is another significant step forward for ILIS, a huge one in my opinion, especially since it's happening ahead of schedule. Given the interest in our company and the corresponding volume at which our stock trades, listing ILIS on the OTCQB will only attract even further interest, I agree, from institutional investors and large private investors, I agree. We are pleased that AJS, AJSH is on board for this audit as they have worked with many NASDAQ companies with complex operations in regions such as ours and they are a good fit for our requirement and we look forward to the completion of this audit in the summer. Loving this news, guys. This is what we need to see. As long as we're making progress forward with this company, there's just I, I'm, I'm all in. You know, if we were to start going backwards, we, the company wasn't contacting us anymore. We didn't. That, that would be different. This company is continuously taking steps forward. Even some of them small, some of them huge. This is huge because one of the things people say is they want to see the books, they want to see this company, you know, get legit. They want to see funding coming in. So now we're seeing funding from banks. Now we're seeing the audits happening. We're seeing uplisting happening. It's moving from more speculative pink sheets, moving up to the OTCQB. Next stop is the next OTC, then the Nasdaq. We're moving up. That's all we can ask for as shareholders who are in this early. We are in ground floor, guys. This stock was as low as four cents. It's thirteen cents right now. This is ground floor opportunity. This is ground floor. This stock one day will never come back to these levels. I'm fully confident of that, especially when we get into a better market. Loving this. Let me know what you think about this news, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.